Okay, here we go. I am now on part four, guided practice. Um, you know, for this question, I'm going to write, I will be able to compare absolute value. Okay. Which number is greater? Negative seven or six? I'm not going to use that one that ends at five. Explain your thinking. Use comparison symbols. You know what? I think y'all can do that. Well, y'all can do that part, but I need to help you with that one. Are we ready? You saw me do this plan the other day. Okay. I'm going to start with which number is greater, negative 7 or 6, right? Now, obviously, 6 is, right? This is a negative over here. In, in a way to look at that is which one is greater, owing somebody uh, $7 or... Having six bucks in your pocket, right? So I'm going to say the solution is negative seven is less than six, right? Or six is greater than negative seven are the two ways I can write that, right? Now, this is where I need you to pay attention. Which number has greater absolute values? And when I first started this the other day, that's where I thought the question was headed, okay? Um, I'm looking for my pen, guys, hang tight. This is not erasable, but it was close. So now it's asking which number has the greatest absolute value, negative seven, or six, right? Now, what is absolute value? Absolute value is the distance from zero. Remember, it is a measurement. Okay, so I need the absolute value of negative seven I'm going to put my little thingy here. Or six, right? Okay, and I'm looking for which one is greater. Absolute value of seven is, or of negative seven is seven. Why? Because it's always positive. These lines mean absolute value, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to get to zero. The distance from negative seven to zero is a positive seven. Set, um, so for this one, you would write the absolute value of negative seven is greater than six. Okay, and that's because an absolute value is always positive. And I told you guys we'd have a couple videos here. Um, I think you can do 18 on your own as extra credit. Um, I will probably post that as a, maybe a, I really like those flip grids. If you have any questions on how to do a flip grid, um, ask me on um, Messenger or email, okay? Um, but I really, I would hope to see more kids do them this time. I'm going to create its own folder, and um, I can't wait to see them, okay? So, number 18, 
is the flip grid. You guys have a wonderful night and I will see you in the morning. Perfect ending to a video, isn't it? I can't find the button. Here we go. Let me see bloopers.